apologize if he barks, but hey guys, I've been working uh, today on getting this set up and ready. I'm going to do a test run this Sunday when I go to my dad's pulling it, but I got the, uh, I got the extension here. I did like 10 passes right here. I was going to run it all the way down, but what happened was I ground it down quite a lot and it still wasn't sliding over very good. Uh, and it took me about 45 minutes to get that far. So what I did is I just uh, put it up as much as I could and then there was a hole in the top of the old tube. So I put a bolt through as a uh, just in case. Everything's ready to go. I have this sitting in here because it's really greased up. I tightened up all this, but it feels really, really nice right now. Um, the lights did get, <laughs> excuse me, um, they did get pinched off in the, this on the old setup. They got pinched off and that's why I wasn't getting any lights. Got that all fixed and taken care of, so we're good. And now this is, I think, a total of five feet long, which... As you can tell, works really nice with the canoe. Um, this is actually a really light setup. Uh, I think I can lift this by hand. It's just, oh yeah. So I can lift this all by hand. So it's not a whole lot of tongue weight. I have it all balanced pretty well. Uh, there is gonna be, though, another 35 to 40 pounds worth of water sitting up front here to help that tongue weight, because I do want some. But overall, my car should have no problem. We're talking uh, probably about 150, 200 pounds all said and done. It's mostly loaded. The cooler is going in the back of the car. The tarps and stuff and the pads are going in the back of the car. Along with like my clothes bags, uh, my chair, kind of some drier stuff. Um, but yeah, here it is. I have... The canoe kind of centered on here. I have it this way because of the fact that if it was flipped the other way, it would hit here. And I was worried about clearance back there, although I didn't have the tailgate on. I put the tailgate on since. Now I'm not worried about it. But I am still worried about it here. So I have her flipped upright. That way you can also put stuff in it. It's going to sit inside the garage. So rain and stuff, I won't have to worry. But, I got the canoe pad here, which isn't strapped down yet. It's just a, uh, I don't know, what brand this is, Crazy Creek Canoe Chair. Got my water jug, that's the, that'll be like the wash up water, it's not drinking water. I have the cook box, which fits perfectly in here. I don't even think I'm going to strap it down because it's heavy to begin with. And it's working great. Another thing with this tongue, before it was set up half and half, now it's more of a 60-40. So the trailer backs up better, pulls better, uh, reacts better, it's good. Check the caps, full of grease. Got it strapped down in two, or, well, okay, got bungees on the front, two straps going across, and one on the back. I do plan on putting more. I want to put some crisscross ones. Are you doing okay, bud? Uh, and then I have my shelter, my cot, the buddy heater, a bunch of uh, four, sorry, four one pound propane t tanks. Two of them are slightly used, two of them are brand new. I figure I won't need very much. At nighttime, I probably won't use any. It'll be just in the morning. Um, of course, the buddy heater and my small foldable uh, table. And I have nothing in the back because. I don't want any more rear weight. She overhangs probably four or five feet on the back, which is a lot, but isn't actually that bad the way it looks. I have a flag, I don't know, in the trunk of the car, I think, and I'm going to stuff that flag back here as either a flag or a piece of something so that people know. you got to let people know, but it's not illegal by any means. Um, the shackles kept holding, kept uh, locking. So for a temporary fix, now hear me out. 
what would happen is with this weight, it would compress these down, and what it would do is it would lock the shackle sideways like this, and then unlock. So one side would be unlocked, popping weird, the other side would then, uh, yeah, I just temporarily fixed it. I took my welder, and I ran a bead right on the top here, just a light one, and it's holding. It should hold just fine. Um, still has some suspension, although... It's very, very uh, stiff, but you gotta think going down the road, bumps are pretty big. It'll be more than enough. Um, this darn dog. It'll be more than enough. Did that to both sides, and I cranked up on it on the back, and it seems to be. It's not gonna pop. Because I got a lot of leverage right there. I mean, I'm lifting the back wheels off the ground. Oh, my wrist. Um, Tailgate, I did have a problem. The sides are pulling up. I had to put two carriage bolts there. And then also, instead of cranking on these, I'll crank on these for the cross members. But for the main ones, um, I went all the way down to the frame up and around. Uh, that way, it's it should be even more secure. It's not, the canoe itself, I guess, could roll. But if, if she's going to roll, the car's going to roll. Um... Yeah, I took this on a little jaunt earlier. I was able to get the fish house tucked under, which I really like. I was having a hard time with it, but I was able to maneuver it in. And I really like that. And it's not all said and done yet, but for my test ride it is. Uh, my dad lives an hour to an hour and a half, depending on traffic. And the reason why I want to do that is because duck hunting is like four or five hours away. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's probably between three and five because I really don't remember. It's been two years, but one hour each way will be a great test ride. That way I can make sure there's no cracks or anything on any of this. And if I don't like how it pulls, uh, once I get to my dad's, we're gonna be getting ready for duck hunting. I'll just pop this off, pop the canoe off, not my gear, but the canoe, and then he can uh, take two canoes up pretty easily with his truck. But I think for now. This can be the way it goes. I'm super happy this turned out this way. I wasn't going to, and then today I loaded it on the trailer and I'm like, holy moly, this is actually gonna load up on here really nice. It actually doesn't look that bad. So, really a light load. Um, by compressing those, it sits lower, which I want, and should be good. I'm not gonna be bringing a couple of things I do need my pots and pans. Good thing I've seen these. Whoa. Uh, I do want to bring these. But in my cook box I have a small stove that I will be that I will be using. I'm not going to bring the big stove because my dad should bring his. And that way it just keeps me my load size down. You know, two pounds. Come here, Phoenix. Come here. Come on. Um... I was going to bring the small heater, but I decided I'm going to bring the Buddy because it would be my first year actually really trying it out. Uh, I mean, I've tried it out, but in a real scenario. <laughs> um, and, you know, the cooler, I do need some weight in the trunk, obviously, just for whatever. But remember, if you're towing with the car, it's really just your gross vehicle weight. So if you could put, let's say I can put two, four people or... Five people in my car, and they're, it's rated for 220 pounds max for each person. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, let's just say 1,200 pounds. Okay, just making it an easy number for fun. 1,200 pounds, and and this weighs, uh, you know, only 200 pounds at most. I'll say I'll be lenient and say 300 pounds. Um, I'm still well under. This overhangs six feet. So it overhangs six feet on the back and way less on the front. But due to the fact that I extended the tongue, that is no problem at all. Front, I'm just gonna say three and a half feet. That's about right. She's a 16 and a half foot canoe, Aquatech. And if the tongue was right here, this trailer's butt would go floop, 
But due to the fact that I extended that, uh, what is he eating? Um, it pulls like a dream, guys. I am not even kidding. This this should. The reason why I want to take it on the test ride is just in case my car has a hard time. You don't really know how it's going to pull and stuff until you get, you know, high speeds. But um, it should pull this no problem. It's not that much weight. So there you go. Pretty much loaded up for the most part. And I just take it on a trip down to my dad's. And I'm so happy this worked out because this means... Uh, this canoe isn't registered because it's just a waterfowl craft right now, but as soon as I get it... the hell are you eating? Drop it. Drop it. Yuck. Yuck. Jesus, the things you gotta deal with. As soon as I register this, I can drive it around to any lake, and it's mint. So I'm super happy this all worked out well. Anyways, so I might throw the normal tent in just for a backup, but we'll find out. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in another video.